Good morning from Mumbai. And a man with a big balloon. Indeed, I've arrived in India's biggest city. Even though it's not the capital, the biggest. So I thought I'd head down towards the gateway of India. What better place to start the trip? And my first experiences and first impressions of Mumbai. And down here, we've got all of the street sellers. Oh, some delicious looking fruit here. Hello, Bazaar. Okay. Hello, my friend. Hello, sir. Kese ho? Boto cha. Boto cha. The guy's selling samosas and things. What is this, sir? Kulfi? Kulfi. Ah, I think I will get some kulfi later. I just had breakfast. Okay. I do actually want to try the kulfi here, as I missed out on that pistachio one the other day. Where was I? Uh, outside the mini Taj. Is it Taj Mahal, not Mahal? Anyways, we got more sweets, uh, crisps and stuff here. What is this? Denver. What's the name? Denver. I recognize these. Call it flying saucer. Whoa! What? What? A tree? No tree. I'm showing my guy. This is a guy. Ah, okay, brother. Yeah. Kiss the hope. Which country? Med England, sir. You from you from Mumbai? Yeah, yeah. 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 Rashford. It seems very. Rashford. 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 Yeah, he is my brother. My yeah, bazaar. Manchester. Manchester. I am from near Manchester. Okay. Leeds. 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 <laughs> Riding. Yeah, I was. I was fighting a tiger. <laughs> a Bengal. No, running for a bus. Take care, brother. Thank you. All right. So, first impressions so far. Just as I found everywhere else in India, on this trip. Everybody's friendly, nobody's really any bother. As soon as you say no to people who approach you, generally speaking, tour guides are a bit more persistent, but the street sellers and things will just leave you alone. So it's far more chilled than perhaps uh, my, uh, my perception. Anyway, in order to get through to where I wanted to head, the gateway, we need to go through a checkpoint first, and with good reason. I'll explain why in a moment. I may need to put the camera down now, but yeah, let's see if we can get through here first. Is it okay to film? Okay, that's great. Uh, bag from here. Okay, right, you just put the bag through the scanner. Hopefully it doesn't uh, wipe my memory card or anything. There it goes. Then we go through the metal detector. Okay. All right, we have the, the fanny pack. The fanny pack of Palika Bazaar. Strapped back on anyways. You can see this is a busy spot. And as I said before, the security measures we've just been through, it's with good reason. So let's, I guess, start at the beginning. It makes sense to come back to the origins. So the gateway of India, this archway, was constructed to commemorate, to commemorate King George V when he was appointed emperor for nearly 25 years, just after 1911. So, he was in the honour, or to mark the rule of a pesky Brit like me, originally. However, many years later, too many arguably for the local Indians, as the British left in 1947, it was a year later that the last remaining British troops would actually exit from this point, finally leaving an independent India. Oh wow, we've got massive helicopter taking off just over there. I don't think that's uh, an unusual sight for Mumbai actually. We'll probably get used to seeing this. The Mumbai helicopter is the only way for businessmen to get around downtown. Because so far from what I've seen, whilst the roads are seemingly well maintained, a bit more orderly than Delhi and places that I've been so far, they are super, super crowded. There's a lot of traffic. We've got locals or at least Indian, Indian tourists, local tourists hanging out. The guy's selling some binoculars here. Oh. Renji, you see some good sights? Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay. 50 rupees, that's quite good. That's cheap, 50 pence. One of the reasons for the added security is due to the fact that uh, there was unfortunately also an attack here in 2003 on this spot. Hello, Bazaar. Kiss it home. What the job? Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm glad the sunglasses man interrupted that moment. But anyways, yeah, this was the, uh, the spot back in 2003 where, uh, where things went down. 
and ever since then security's been tightened up a lot so it's uh, it's surprising as things do feel a lot safer on first impressions anyway in this city hello bazaar yes hello how ah bahut acha aapka naam kya hai rahul rahul nice to meet you okay nice to meet you guys all right guys the uh, the selfies are done now there was a lot of them and i've got the uh, the tour guides as well <laughs> looking on my shoulder anyways the hotel behind me the cool fact about it this is the taj mahal palace apparently the first hotel in mumbai or in india in fact to have electricity back in the day the early 1900s when it was built and not only that it apparently had german elevators american air conditioning and british butlers so a little bit of payback <laughs> for those pesky brits who once once ruled india anyways moving on let's take a little stroll through this area see if we can meet some more of the locals get a feel for the place and then there's also apparently in this very cosmopolitan city a beach as well that we should check out all right I want to see if we can maybe get a drink or something before heading down to the beach. But I think it's best to uh, save my coffee ice cream for down there if we can get one. What could be more British? British India than <laughs> yeah, than having an ice cream at the seaside. Let me see if we can grab a bottle or something from up there. That looks like a good call. Take around here. I will go the long way so I'm not barging into people. Very British of me. <laughs> The, uh, the Indian ways have yet to rub off on me. I'm still very, uh, very self-conscious about uh, sort of barging into people or pushing through. Let's see what we have. Egg pani, just small. Acha, okay. Kidney rupee. Done it, bye. Thank you. All right, a little bit of hydration. Ah, it's not space. Kid was playing. They've got the uh, the roots of the tree painted. I guess in the colors of India the roots the roots of the country we've got more of these guys with the massive balloons this is the biggest balloon I've ever seen Namaskar sir Kese ho? Ah, bota cha bota cha you have uh, the sugar cane sugar cane juice it's it's fresh okay ah cha over around here excellent this is my favorite drink that I found on travels back in the Philippines. Here we are. Yeah, it's here. It looks uh, it looks to be well oiled, Which shall we say. Is this? this sir uh -huh. is GoPro 11. You get it on Amazon? You can get it uh, by the link in my description. I <laughs> This is good sugarcane juice here. I first had it in Philippines. Okay. Yeah, and then it became my favorite drink. So I'm glad to find it here in uh, in Mumbai. Dark city in the Philippines? Yeah, you know Bacolod? No, 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 no. no? I know T-A-R-C, Dark City. Dark, okay. I don't think I saw that, guys. Uh, so any of you from there? I know a lot of you are watching in uh, in Philippines. But yeah, you traveled to Philippines? No, I just read on the YouTube. Yes, oh wow, I see. I see. Yes. So he operates it from that side, the machines, and it actually comes through a pipe. How efficient. And into there, and wow, he's straining it now. You can see the little bits, not very many, but little bits that have been left. And then that's lovely, filtered and pure. Meranam Jitubai Gupta. Jitubai Gupta. Nice to meet you, Meranam James. Thank okay, nice let's try you. the first exhibition. Oh, lovely! Look at this. We've got some nice incense going as well. Oh, incense going as well. How nice is that? All right. What an experience! My first sugar cane in India. My favorite drink on my travels anywhere in the world. Mmm. Oh, bota cha, bota cha. That's very good, sir. Very good. Oh, delicious. It's so refreshing, even though I don't think we added ice, which is fine. I'm happy with that. Even though it said it was filtered. Oh, that is so refreshing. And uh, kidney rupee, 40? Ah, 40 rupees. Is this one 40? Yes. Acha, acha. 
So for 40 rupees, we've got fresh sugarcane juice. We've got all of that liquid and a little bit more <laughs> out. And, mm. oh, it is obviously so sweet, but this version tastes almost a little bit limey or a little bit tangy. Slightly different to the versions that I've known elsewhere in the other parts of Southeast Asia. My favorite drink. I hope to find more of it in, in India. India. We call it all people's drink. All people's. <laughs> Everybody enjoys shopping. Exactly, exactly. Mm. All right, guys, I'll finish this off and then we'll, uh, we'll continue our journey towards the beach. So far, but a chart. This is the famous ear cleaning that you see in India. This is the first one that I've actually seen here in Mumbai. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, wow. Ear cleaning. This, ear this cleaning. is normal? This yeah. is normal? With like the metal ear stick? Ear cleaning. Wow. Oh, God. It's like clicking, clicking yeah. the ear. Yes. And it's got all kinds of stuff out of there. Oh, man. You have very clean ears now. Yes. Yes. It feels good? Yes. It feels better? Yes. Kidney rupees? 40 rupees only. 40? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> of course, no problem. Apka naam kehe? Rahul. Rahul, nice to meet you, Med. Oh, Med and I'm James. Okay. I'm Rahul. Yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Oh, man. Is it for real? Yes. Yeah, it's safe as well. Well, the man here looks to have, uh, yeah, looks to have no pain. So let's give it a whirl or allow him to give it a whirl, quite literally. This is normal, the liquid? Yes. Is this a scam, guys? This is not a scam. No. <laughs> no? No scam. That's actually come out of his ear? Yes. It looks too juicy to be earwax, as gross as that is. Oh, Jesus, that just came out of his ear. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, but... We'll give it a go anyway, it's the first one. You start with this, this is your stick? Yes. Yeah, so this is, this is goes in everybody's ear, but this is clean. Cotton. Mm, okay, so this won't give me ear infection and you won't puncture ear. Okay, he's going in. Go gentle, go gentle, 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 slow. It's the first one. Oh, there he goes, guys. I think I have quite a narrow ear canal. Oh, man. I feel him poking around in there. Botacha. Oh wow, the tweezers. Gross, you can see what's been hanging out in my ear. Oh, this is such a, an unusual fit. Oh, okay, he's gone far there. No further, sir, That's, uh, that, is, that is deep. I felt that one. Oh, I, I get my ear cleaned and then I, I chat. Okay, no problem. I work here, you know what I do here? Oh, oh, easy, that's too much. Too much, brother, too much. I can feel it. Oh, it's like scratching. A little then it's then that's gentle that's okay i think that ear that is enough okay okay easy 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 okay i think that is okay tk uh, okay i think that's enough I... yeah? it's a dust only it's dust yes interesting okay so it must be the uh, pollution and dust that I've picked up so far in my time here. But you can see he's gone in and he, he is getting bits out. So this isn't a scam. I don't think, like many people on YouTube have said it is, I think that's unfair on honest local people. Like yourself, Apkanam Kehe. Hey, Las. Hey, Das. Miranam James. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. It's Very good. good. Look, yeah. it's legit. That isn't coming from like a... A stone or he hasn't got it in his hand already. This is legit. Uh, and now he goes in with a cotton wool, which feels a lot uh, a lot safer. <laughs> I'm a lot less, uh, a, a lot more relaxed when it's cotton wool. And then you're dipping a little, is that oil? Yes, oil. Like uh, sunflower oil, olive oil? No, it's a jelly booty oil. Ah, for healing? Talk to me, sir, not English, normal English. Ah, for real? Yes, Whoa. real. <laughs> this guy's the best. I was, I didn't know what to expect. If anything, I thought it would be, oh, maybe, uh, maybe a little scam, but the local guys have all had it done here. And now when he's working that cotton wool in at the end with that little bit of oil, Excuse me, sir. you can see it's properly clean. It's an Ayurvedic drop, drop. 
None. A drop of oil. Interesting. It's and this drop. is a different one? Ha, it's a drop. I see. Soap is a dust is a killing wash. Aha, acha, acha. Okay. So you're going to put that in? Yes. Okay. It's one drop, 50 acha. rupees only. Uh, I don't need extra. I don't need extra. It's okay. okay. Acha. Okay. Can we do the other ear? Hello. hello. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Very good. Whoa! Did you hear that? I think I missed it. Totally it clicked nice. the ear. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> it didn't hurt though. Okay. Gentle, gentle again with this one. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, he's like shaking it around. It's like uh, echoing, like a microphone. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> that's how it sounds like microphone. Yes, pop, yes. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> wow, you were doing a very good job, my friend. Very good job. I didn't know what to expect at first. I was scared, but now, now things feel better. Kidney rupee, eighty. 80? You said 40 before? One year. Ah, hacha. Okay. You did a good job for you. Please. 100 is good. No, no. It's good. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. Danavad. Okay, bye. Remind me. Shana Apkanam Kehe? Kailas. Kailas? Skylas. Skylas. Okay. Yes. Very good man. Honest. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. See you guys. Okay. All right. Now, whew. Wow, I must say, not only does my hearing feel a little bit, a little bit better, but my balance. That's the first thing I've noticed. With my ears being blocked, I must have been, yeah, a little it's bit uh, dizzy going. before. That's so much better. Hey, all right. So, with clean ears, hey brother, with clean ears, let's now get down to the beach. Perhaps a little swim to get more sand and things in them. I jest. I don't think we'll be going in the water. Well, let's see what the pollution is like. Anyways, let's head down now to Chow Patty Beach with my wonderful clean, Indian ears. Let's go. Namaskar. Hello, Bazaar. You have all of the jerseys. I see. I like the India ones. Hello. Yeah. Kidney rupee for these. How much for these ones? Kidney rupee. This one one thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. This one original jersey. And it's what? Original jersey. Original. Original. Okay. This side. This is like the popular one? Or yeah, this one, no, white jersey taste. Cream is maybe nice. Taste. Maybe I look a little washed out yeah. cream. Yeah, nice, just like this color. India taste. Does look good. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah? yeah? Okay. And this one. This India taste is low, low, low quality. Low quality. That's local quality. Low quality. Okay, so this is like first. First, 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 yeah. first. Yeah, showroom. First. Okay. So these 15 and 1500. Yeah, okay. 1500. This one, 1000. Full sleeve. This looks good, India but training. long sleeve India will be too training. hot yeah, for me. Okay. Too hot. Yeah, half sleeve, yeah, long sleeve. Yeah, yeah. I try half sleeve. Yeah, I try this, this on. No, 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 no. No. no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Filthy scum. <laughs> oh, this feels good. Yeah, good now. Oh, nah. tight. Yeah. Slim yeah. fit. Yeah, slim fit. Oh. Yeah, big size now. Nah. Only one, one big size. Large. Yeah, large. No, no, I take this. Yeah, it's so nice. I like slip fit without t shirt. Yeah, okay. What is your best price for this? Yes. You said 15. What's his best price? 100 rupees your discount. 100 discount? Yeah. Oh. I have to haggle a little harder than that. You can't be going with 100. Could you do 850? Huh? 850? No. Too low? No. This one, 1,400 your last price. Ah, uh, brother. This one, a virtual quality, no, this one player version. Okay. It's nice. I like yeah, it. Nice. It's nice. I like it yeah, a lot. Good enough, good if we quality. can do, okay. I will meet. Can we meet halfway? I can do one thousand. Brother, I can't go that high. I can't go that high. I said eight fifty. You said fifteen hundred. If we can meet at twelve. Oh, but that has to be my last. I can't do 300. 1,200. Okay, 1250. 1250. 1250 deal. Nice to meet you. All right, let's do it. I'm going to get the black t shirt off underneath and enjoy some of this breeze. What a nice job. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's a long story. We get photo after Your name? Yeah, Balu. Balu. Ah, like Jungle Book. Thank you, brother. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you.
I appreciate it. All right. Great store. Nice to meet you guys. I go Chowpati Beach this way. Marine yeah. Drive, Chowpati Beach. Yeah. This direction. Chowpati. Marine Drive. Ah, I go this way. Straight here. Yeah. Left side you go. Okay. There and left. This one left okay. side. Okay. Thank you, brother. Okay. All right, guys. Check it out. A little bit of India national swag on the way. Hello, sir. I got my India shirt. All right, now. I'm a little bit more of a bizarre. I'm representing. <laughs> you have hands like shovels, as we say in the Thank UK. You. All right, take care, brother. All right, guys. The scenes look to be changing a little bit. The buildings are certainly a bit different down here. Not quite as flash as they were back down there, deeper into the city. So I think we might be getting closer to the beach now. Namaskar, bizarre. To uh, Chapati Beach, Marina, Marina Road. Marine, yeah. Marina Road. Danavad. Can we get through that way? Can I get through? Is that okay? Jack, how much Oh, food looks good. Food looks very good there. Kamishka. Oh, check it out. The food looks delicious, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Both the char. Food looks very good, sir. Very nice. Is it Tali? Yes. Tali? Tali. Chicken Tali. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. I can show YouTube. So yes, yes. You have papad. Yes, You have uh, roti or chapati. Yeah. This and is chicken, chicken curry. rice. Nice. And then the salad, the uh, onion, onion relish, and then achari pickle, or is it yes. sam sambal? Achar. Achar, the ah. pickle, achar. This is nimbu. Yeah, lemon, lime. Lemon. Yeah. This is and chili. chili. Achar. Enjoy your meal. Yes. It smells Come absolutely chili. delicious. I would love to, but I'm going to the beach. Okay. I might get something nice later. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. Thank Take you. Take care. Man. Take care. All right. Namaskar, dear. Namaskar. Hello. Hello. Apka naam ke hai? Namrata. Amrata? Namrata. Namrata. Mera naam James. I give a little something. I have a surprise for you. You do you help your mom, grandma? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. A sweet girl. You have nice English. We'd be on YouTube together. <laughs> Okay, bye dear, get some sweets or something, something nice. Nice to meet you. Danavad, bye bye. Ah, she was sweet, hey? What a sweet little thank you I had as well. When you see uh, infants lying in a dirty blanket on the, uh, on the pavement. Yeah, particularly when they're as sweet as, well, children are innocent, but when they're as sweet as somebody the same age would have been in my country or anywhere else in the world they really don't deserve that so whilst I can't fix their problems as much as it pains me maybe you can brighten the day a little bit she's got some pocket money now maybe she can uh, yeah get an ice cream some sweets or you know if things really are desperate she can get uh, get future patties for her and uh, her and her grandma but yeah not virtue signaling with that that was just something spontaneous and genuine um, just to be clear, so <laughs> that stuff is uh, otherwise pretty nauseating. Anyways, I don't see the beach. Namaskar, bye. Can I get through to beach? No? No, no, no. Uh, no, entry, how, no, entry, no entry, Yeah, how do I get to the beach? No beach, no beach, no beach. Okay, no beach. How do I get to the beach? Which direction? Okay. Thank you, sir. Danavad. We have finally found Mumbai's famous beach, Chow Patti. Whatever that is when it's at home. Is it a chapati? Is it a cow? Who knows? Anyways, there does, well, there does not appear to be a beach. That's not what I expected. It's all stones, like blockades. Stop the tide. There I was thinking Little Mermaid, something like that and this is what we've got oh that is not what i expected hello bizab kese ho kese ho majja prim prim you have the nice shades you're very stylish uh, where is i thought sand uh, no sand no sand like yellow beach this is stones it's like rocks 
Yeah. Is there sand further down? Uh, no. no, it's all rocks. Yeah. Ah, Acha, I did not know this. You guys come here to hang out? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, this yes, is yes. like a nice spot for photos and things. Uh, yeah, okay. You can see guys here. That backdrop. No wonder you get photos here. Look how good it is. Have a good day. All right. So let's take a little stroll down here, taking some more of the sights. Unfortunately, you can see there's quite a bit of litter, but it's not as bad as I expected. Whilst I expected more of the sand type beach rather than the stones, hey, there's, uh, there's actually less litter than I expected because what I'd read in advance of coming here was that this is the, I think currently, the second most polluted beach in Mumbai and from times it's been the most polluted but for the fact perhaps that first of all it's not monsoon season when there's a monsoon everything all the other litter and trash from the sea from the ocean gets washed up so given that we're a few months away from that what's down there oh i thought it was a woman bending over in a blanket it's just a blanket that's fallen on the uh, corner of the thing yeah given that we're uh, we're still many months away from from monsoon there shouldn't be too much stuff washed up hello Bizar. hello right just in the distance there i can see the uh, cricket ground can you see the floodlights might be difficult for you to make out on the gopro hello Bizar. kiss it home hello i think there might be some birds in the back i'm gopro uh, bota cha kiss it home Acha, acha, acha. This is a good spot for photo. Yes, you this is very good. Country? Med England. England, nice. Yeah, you from Mumbai? Yes. yes. It's it's good here for young people. Yes. Yeah. Lots of like opportunities. It's fun. You can hang out and enjoy yes. Yes. views like this in your city. You're very lucky. London, London doesn't have beaches like this, and it's not as warm. That's for sure. It's a lot, uh, a lot nicer. Have you visited England before? Ever been? No? You're happy here? Maybe in future. Ah! If you're happy in Mumbai, it seems like a really good place to uh, to be a young person. Maybe in future. Maybe. I'm sure. Nice to meet you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look at that man up there. Can you see? <laughs> He's up there standing with a pole on a wire, but right on the edge of that building. That surely doesn't look safe. I don't reckon it'll zoom in far enough to see him, but he's up there. <laughs> Health and safety. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, as I was saying, to a more serious point, back in 2010, so we're talking well over 13 years ago now, there was a huge collision between two vessels, merchant vessels, out at sea here, and it resulted in a massive oil spill. And the effects of that I still felt even to this day it's been a huge cleanup operation and it made me think back when I was starting out in London when I just started working 2021 back in finance the first share I ever bought was in BP British Petroleum back in 2010 and it was on a recommendation of one of the guys that I worked with who basically said in light of the Macondo oil spill the oil disaster which is around a similar time actually but was off the gulf the coast of mexico it's a different story he said it'll all blow over buy the shares so i did so bp in that moment was the first company i invested in and whilst it was a tip-off the rationale behind it was basically profiting or betting on the recovery whereby I would profit after a disaster, something which polluted oceans and yeah, messed, messed up loads of sea life and all the rest. Now, as a young lad, I didn't really think twice. I hadn't traveled the world as I have now. Obviously with age and experience, hopefully you grow a little bit wiser. I'm still daft, as you can see, sometimes, but the one thing that travel has given me and the connection to here just now which made me think this is the perspective on things of this nature that affect all of us as human beings we all have this in common where we can all look out to sea hopefully and enjoy this view 
but for the fact that capitalists pumping out all this oil that contributes to the air pollution and through disasters destroys marine life spoils beaches and things of that nature and of course is the reason for starting wars very often and all of that bloodshed and human loss of life you got to ask what is it all for cut into the chase this here today reminded me when i heard the story of the oil spill of now how i've developed a different a very different perspective on the world and i wouldn't feel comfortable profiting from a natural disaster <laughs> which to some of you might sound bloody obvious but when you've been bred into capitalism on a trading desk all you're taught to focus on is making money but now clearly as i begin to travel the world meet different people and see the impact and the effects or the consequences of our actions collectively as human beings in terms of how we destroy the planet and harm one another yeah it's given me uh give me a new outlook on things anyways getting down off my soapbox for a moment i want to complete the day's mission in finding some kulfi so let's see if we can find a nice little stall this way hello bizab kese ho do you know kulfi ice cream kulfi ice cream this direction thank you guys danavad have a good day enjoy the view very uh, very beautiful i nearly said it in portuguese muito bom i am not in rio de janeiro although it feels a little bit like copacabana i'm getting so confused here the vibes are uh, are that of south america it feels like i'm in brazil thank you these lads have just given me a point in the direction of uh, faiz right faiz and afkan amke hey ishwar karar ishwar 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 nice to meet you thank you mirnam james Yes. Mirnam James. James. James, 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 like James. 007. So, uh, Indian team, right? yeah, what the char, what the char. I like it. I just got it now, like cream color, very nice. T-shirt, Yeah, no t-shirt underneath. It's very warm. No, no, Indian very warm. t-shirt. Yeah, Indian t-shirt. Indian t-shirt. So apparently, when I asked the guys uh, just here, they said that to go for kulfi, kulfi ice cream. Oh, I should head in this direction. They said it's a shop rather than a kiosk. And I said, are there any street sellers by the side of the beach? Which is what I had in mind, but apparently not. So the guys have very kindly offered to show me. I don't think it's a referral, thing, but we'll see. Ice cream thing. Yeah, it's butter char. Very good ice cream. Nice. Okay, okay. It's yummy. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Let's avoid these. Uh, let sleeping dogs lie, as they say. Hey, it's over here. Two minutes? Five minutes? One minute. Okay, perfect. This is the uh, direction that I came in. I can see the Intercontinental Hotel this way. So it could be pricey, but we'll see. Yeah, you too. You too. Name, name. I give you the name. First name, James. And there's no seagulls here, guys. James? That's the confusing thing. And there aren't really any pigeons either. First name. First name James. Okay. Let me. Uh, they're helping me, so I should. Uh, James. I should take a minute. Yeah. And second name is Heliwell. Okay. Thank you, brother. Okay, Faiz, let's go get ice cream. Ice cream, kulfi. Okay. Right. After that little intermission, that interlude. Yeah. We're back on the ice cream hunt. Video share. Yeah, for sure. We will share video, but the video will be rubbish. If I'm not actually talking about what I'm seeing. And I'm just saying, yeah, we're going for ice cream and got my face in a phone or two. Anyways. Oh, here we are again. Oh, okay. Guys, the, uh, the continuity police are on to me. All right. So as I was saying, I noticed how there's no seagulls or anything around here, despite being by the coast. Oh, we're back. Yeah, New Delhi, New Delhi. So there's no seagulls around here, despite being at the coast. And nor are there any pigeons. Okay. okay, we go now. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Right. Okay. Faiz, you are you drive a hard bargain. 
I am I am the talent. I perform on demand. It's like my old job. Anyways, we are nearly at the ice cream parlor. This is uh, yeah. This has had such such energy to it. Anyways, it's good that they're showing me uh, where it is. You will share your channel. Yes, I will share my channel. You will be on YouTube and it will be a terrible video because thank you, thank you. I haven't had anything to say for interruptions. Ice cream, ice cream. Yummy. Yummy, like Justin Bieber. Hey, Yummy yum. Hello. It's here, one minute, it's you sure, said? Sure. Oh, I'm tired. Where, where is Kofi? Ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Just here? You are? Two minutes. Okay, I see. I see. Uh, it's manga. It's expensive. Manga? Expensive? Manganic. Expensive? Expensive? Kidney. Kidney rupee. Acha, acha, acha. India, they have to go. Ah. Tora, tora. Aha, this one? Okay. I want Kofi ice cream specifically. Otherwise, I walk away. No coffee, I walk away. Let's uh, let's see what they've got. Okay, we see. What flavor do you like? What is your flavor? Tell me what's your flavor. Okay, this is the spot. Acha, acha, acha. Okay, let's see what they have. Bread, pista, nut crunch, Queen's Roses, Prince of Dry Fruits. These are all Western flavors like Honey Nut Crunch, Banana and Strawberry. It's Baskin Robbins. I don't want Baskin Robbins. I want Kulfi ice cream. You have Kulfi? Kulfi ice cream? Yeah. Yeah? Acha? Which one? Rice. Kulfi, Kulfi. Maybe it's in these boxes here. It has all of these different blocks. No Kulfi? Kulfi, no. Okay. Guys, I'm faced with a dilemma. It's all of the uh, the Western flavors. See, I have such local knowledge in these streets that I don't go to the tourist places. The locals go to the tourist places because I'm even more local than the locals themselves. It seems. What, brother? 130. 130. 130. One piece. I want coffee. I want ice cream. I will take it. I will take a walk. I will continue walking down there, brothers. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Welcome, but yeah, I want something more authentic. Okay. All right, guys. I can't. Okay. I go this way. Acha. Okay. Danavad. Danavad, guys. Okay. Huh? My channel. Yes, I will share. I will share how you took me miles away to get an ice cream that I didn't want in a shop. Okay. Bye, boys. <laughs> Anyways, I had a feeling that might happen. But I thought there would at least be uh, an option of some more other local flavors. But yeah, basically got led 10 minutes down the road, back in the direction from whence I came. I've got to cross again. What's a brother got to do to get an ice cream around here? Been walking ages. The sun is now beating down. The midday sun, this is my first day in this part of the country. So these temperatures are all new to me and it is warm. It's got a lot dustier here, so I'm away from the tourist bit now. Although there's a lot of people here. What are they doing? Are they swimming? I think some of them are getting in the water. So there's like another photo spot. I thought that was the main bit where everybody was sat. But there's another photo spot here. But down there is actually where I want to continue on because I can now see the sand beach that people said didn't exist. So it does turn into a sand beach. And hopefully by that point. Namaskar dear. Kese ho? Acha, acha, acha. Tora, tora Hindi, tora, tora. All right. So, hey! <laughs> Brother, I can't come down. It's a long way down. <laughs> All right, enjoy your day. Enjoy your day. Is that a sand castle? No. It's cement. Anyways, as I was saying, we're going to continue to the sandy beach. And if I haven't found an ice cream by then, I will know that Skegness rules over Chow Patty. That'll be my conclusion. In case you haven't heard of Skegness, if you're not from the UK, Google it. <laughs> what does this say? No eye teasing. <laughs> Whatever that is. 
But anyways, as you can see, finally at the sandy beach of Chow Patty. As oh, I step New on Orleans, it. New Orleans, hey, Louisiana. Let's New go. Orleans, Louisiana. Okay, we've got everybody here. It's an international destination. Not dissimilar to Skegness. Anyways, look, we appear to be in a more promising spot now. There's a shake uh, stand up there. Maybe we'll find a little bit of ice cream there. Oh, steps on a on a hidden rock. Namashka. Ah, preparing all of these lovely fresh fruits and vegetables. We've got mango. I don't recognize this. Mango. It's uh, dyed. Ah, but it's red. Red mango. Red mango. Interesting. So there must be some dye there and then the different vegetables. Namaskar. Namaskar. Right to me. Danabad. So they've got all sorts of different prepared fruits and vegetables there. But red mango. I'm not sure how that comes about. Uh, no, thank you, sir. I look for Kofi ice cream. Let's see if we can find it around here. Namaskar, sir. Do you have kulfi ice cream? Kulfi? No. Uh, over there. Danabad. Thank you. Oh, that was nice of him. He's just shown me in the direction of it, even though he didn't have it himself. This is looking promising. Aha! Famous Rabdi Kulfi. Just what I needed. Namaskar. Excellent. Okay, we've got everything that I could wish for when it comes to Kulfi. All these different versions. Ooh, chocolate chips kulfi. Butter char. And faluda. I haven't tried this either. Damishka. Could I try, uh, I want to try some kulfi. Kulfi, like ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Which one you recommend? Not too sweet. So fairly plain. Not lots of sauce. Maybe something like Punjabi or... Yeah. You choose, you choose. Okay. Acha, acha. Danivad, danivad. Okay, so yeah, lots of different options on here, and admittedly, I didn't know which, quite which one to order. Ah, Punjabi kulfi. This one, this one. What? Yeah, on stick ice cream. Yeah. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. So just coming out of the ice cream. Aha, acha, acha. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Kidney rupee, sir. Eighty. Sixty. Okay, acha. I try and then I pay. Is that okay? Okay. All right. My first experience of kulfi and kulfi ice cream. Can you see the color? It looks like coffee or something. It doesn't smell of much. Oh, very soft. Mmm. It's so creamy and absolutely yummy. It tastes like uh, cream. Really, really dense, creamy ice cream. Mmm. Very soft though. Firm enough to stay on the stick, easily, but you can still bite through it. That's so much nicer than normal ice lolly. Mmm. Oh. So good. Butter cha. That is so good. And look at this view behind. There's people hanging out, chilling, sitting and eating and playing different games. Namaskar! Namaskar! And a view of the beach and the sea behind me with my Punjabi kulfi ice cream. This must be from obviously Punjab in the north, right? Mmm. Okay. The only problem now is that I'm gonna have to try every different type. Mmm. Mm. Between where I cut the camera and arriving here, I must have walked for about 25 minutes and there were no pavements because there's construction work going on in between. That's why I think a lot of people were hanging out over there and weren't necessarily coming down here or spread out. So yeah, I basically walked on a motorway for 25 minutes to get this in. Mm. Worth it. My new favorite, Indian dessert. Now overtaking the rubbery and sweets that I've had so far. Punjabi kulfi. Thank you, sir. Danavad. See you later. All right, let's go and take a little stroll down towards the water's edge and take this in. See, it looks really cool down here. It's clean, at least to the eye. I don't think it's any dirtier than any other beach that I've seen. We're obviously going to have beach sellers here. 
they're probably going to approach us. Ah, they didn't approach. Really peaceful. But now you can see the colour of the sand, even though there's only the odd or occasional bit of litter. You see the colour? How it's changed from the yellowy sand down towards what we see at the water's edge. This is the real pollution. And it's just what I was describing. I won't even go on here in my sneakers, they'll get ruined. But this is just what I was describing. I can now see as I look across the beach, far more of the plastic and the stuff that's been washed up. But the most striking thing is the color of the sand. And that's been colored by crude oil. Completely different color to what's behind me and down there. And it's not just the water, as I say, like the wetness, which has changed the color. It's the actual oil. Even though supposedly electrification, you look at electric vehicles and alternative electric uh, power generation, things like Musk's building, for example. Whilst all of that requires us to, it's water intensive, it requires us to mine the earth for these rare earth min minerals and metals that go into the components to build circuit boards and all the copper we have to pull out of the ground and even mine in the deserts, which requires a shed load of water and creates water pollution in the process, unfortunately. At least there's not as much warfare and bloodshed of a rare earth minerals, at least as yet compared to crude oil. Not only is it a pollutant and killing the planet, but for decades, we've gone to war over it. So, to lift the mood a little, whilst I not wanted to end on a heavy note, I think it's my first impressions of Mumbai have been, yeah, I've been blown away by it. It's an incredible city. Obviously, we're now ending with a backdrop, which is a reminder that there are still aspects that it needs to improve in, and I'm sure that with time it will get there. But on the other side of the city where we began, at the Gateway of India, understanding a little bit more about the history of the place, and also seeing the modernity along the way, it must be one of the coolest cities, not only in India, but undoubtedly in the world. And I've only explored a tiny, tiny part of it today here in the south. So for the next few days, we're definitely going to check out a lot more of this place. But I'm sure, just as with Istanbul, for example, we're only going to scratch the surface with it being such a huge city. India's biggest. So yeah. Enough of my waffle. I'm gonna wrap things up for today. I really enjoyed that Kulfi ice cream at the end. It was well worth the, uh, the mission to find it. And I look forward to more encounters with all of the friendly Indian people here in Mumbai in the next video. We're gonna mix things up. Over and out.